Yo, what's up? How are you? Good to see you, man. What are you doing out here? We're just recording a thing for this YouTube channel. Oh, yo. Say hi, no, say good. hi. <laughs> ukuleles and I love it for traveling it's way easier to travel with right. and I can I just got a thin ukulele yeah. too so I'm making a case that I can fit both of them in there oh, and ideally I want to get a thin slide too so I can get yeah. all three that I play on stage in one mm -hmm. one travel case yeah. that would be sick then you don't have to fight with the I know the airport the flight attendants yeah. you know it's always yeah. stressful I know when you're traveling with your instrument well I know I actually just air on the side of the airport and I say whatever with my instrument. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so when did you start coming out here with your parents and jamming? I was at seven when I first tried. Holy smokes. My dad would take me. And then we kind of found this place right here. And what we loved about it at the time was that there was these beach boys who would jam every Friday night. So we asked if we could join them and they're like, yeah, sure. And it just became like this Friday night thing where I would come and jam with the Beach Boys and then you know people started coming and that's how Don Ho you know showed me or that's how Don found me. Found you on yeah. the street jamming with the Beach Boys. Yeah. Oh my gosh. So Don Ho finds you out on the street. Yeah. One of his performers saw me on the street and told Don about me and then um, you know I had to go and interview and play for him and Halmea, his wife. Oh, and uh, then they were like, okay, yeah, come to the show. And then from there, just psh, wow, Waikiki every yeah. night. There is a house here down in New Orleans. They cool the rise and sun. been a ruin of so many poor boys. God, I know I'm family from which side mostly up here but I've got some in uh, Pango and then you know they're all over the place all my over. mom was one of 11 so there's like they're in New Zealand and 
Yeah, you yeah. know how it is, always big family. I know, yeah. So my dad is from Utule oh, okay. in American Samoa. Oh, American. Yeah. Oh. So that's a, that's another connection that we've always had is mm -hmm. being Afakasi and yeah. playing music and <laughs> having kind of roots in with the old Waikiki, yeah. stuff like that, you know? Yeah. I think that's, and plus weirdly, I don't know, maybe it's just like the, the, the whole makeup of cultures, but mm. I feel like our playing has a, a few things really, really in common as well in the sense where like you'll play very, very softly, but also play like really, really intensely. You know what I mean? Yeah, the dynamics. And then we get crazy too. And then we get crazy. We get crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's get crazy. One of the first viral videos I saw of you at, I'm not, maybe you can remember where that ukulele festival was. Oh yeah. It was, a, it was like one of the first virals of you and everybody was just sharing it and sharing it. And they're like, who is this chick? And I was like, that's Taimani, that's my girl. He did, he shared her ukulele festival ripping video. And it all really started from playing on the street. Yeah, you know? right here, Kalakala Avenue. Yeah, I was always nervous until I'd say about 14, then I finally got over that, yeah. that well, nervousness. By the time I started watching you on stages, you had that whole thing locked to the point it's inspiring me how in the moment you are on stage with the audience. I mean, it's fearless. It's awesome time. Thank you.
Thank you, yeah. This is Tavana. My name's Taimane. And uh, we're shooting something. That's how, yeah, mahalo. Thank you. Thanks for listening, you guys. That was awesome. Oh, yeah. yeah. That was awesome. That was fun. <laughs>